My name is Dave Lummerman, and I'm going to go through a usability evaluation of one of our favorite websites, Apple. Apple in the industry is known for its ease of use, and let's see if that translates to its website if you're trying to get support. Pretend for a moment that we're contracted by Apple and that we are looking to make the Apple website better in terms of support. So support is the main task which we're trying to do. So the first thing we do here is we come to the main part of the site and we start to look around. And most of it is, is for uh, branding purposes. So here are my real options to try and find support. Most often you're looking at the large areas in the middle. But since I'm looking for something very specific, I'm going to use Fitz's Law and basically look towards the two corners. So I'm going to see our Apple logo, no help there. Store, Mac, iPhone, watch, iPad, iPod, iTunes, up, oh, there we go, support. And support matches one of our major keywords. So I'm going to click on support. Now what I'm trying to do is take my MacBook and I'm trying to get support, taken into one of their genius sections. So I'm looking for certain keywords. I'm looking for genius bar. I'm looking for take it in for service. I know basically what I want to do. Uh, welcome to Apple support. You see these happy faces over here and I'm looking around and I'm not seeing anything over here. I'm looking Apple care. Maybe that's it. I go there and I say, no, that's not really what I'm looking for. But now I'm kind of stuck. There's no back button. All right, so we'll use the browser back button and hope this works. All right, so I'm forced to scroll down. I see support communities. That doesn't help me. Contact us. Well, maybe. We're here to help, but now when I get down to here, I see Genius Bar Appointment. So let's click on that. Now, instead of taking me right to the Genius Bar, which is where I'm expecting to go when I click on that, I come to another page, which now I have to consume. So I'm left with one choice, which is to get started. Alrighty. Now we have a whole other menu. Now all I'm trying to do is get to the Genius Bar. And here are those geniuses right here. You think maybe if I click on this smiling face, it's going to take me there. So this is adding to my frustration. I know exactly what I want to do, but it's not letting me do that. I don't have a case in repair. I don't have products. I guess let's click on my problem. My problem is my Mac. Oh, here's another menu. I guess it's a Mac notebook. All right. Now let's go through my problems. All right. That's my problem. All right. Here we go. Now we get to our keywords. What we see here is we see a nice big menu. But after I get through all of the problems, it's got these scrolling menus that are nice when I open it. Not so important to me when I'm looking to do a specific task. So all of these pretty much do the same thing. I can chat with them, I guess, but I know exactly what I want to do. I want to take it in for service. So we're going to click on that. It brings me to a screen, another screen, which I now have to consume. My information in over there, where I want to go. And let's go to the Walt Whitman store, because that's the one that I want to go to. I click on the store. Now, even though I've clicked on the store, you would hope it would go right to there, but it doesn't. All right. I click on Choose Store. It tells me I'm signed in, which is great. It's telling me my problem, which is great. So this is all leading me to know where I need to go next. Make a Genius Bar reservation. So now it's showing me the upcoming things. All right, let's say I want to go on Wednesday evening. All right, I'll navigate this menu, and let's put it at 6.30 p.m. Now, one of the first problems that I see on this screen here is you don't really know where to click. All right, you would think that 6.30 p.m. would take me to another menu. Maybe if I close it, nope, that doesn't help. So let's click 6.30 p.m. Now, if I scroll down, we do see a Continue button. This is generally a no-no. Whenever I'm looking at a screen like this, I want to know that when I click something, something's going to happen. Let's go over what we saw. When we first get there, we're hit with a giant menu. While it's very pretty to look at, and while I recognize the path that I wanted to go to, that path to me is blocked. So being that it's not a direct click, I now have to try and figure out a way to navigate to where I want to go. You want the people clickable. Anytime that you mention specific keywords, you want it clickable. Like down here, Genius Bar Appointments. 
but you want to take them directly to the place where they need to be. This is an instance where the goals of the store are dictating the design of the site. They want to be able to put the right expert with the right uh, problem, which makes sense from the perspective of the store. But from the user's perspective, all that is obscured to them, so they don't know the difference. Thank you for taking the time to review this video. If you'd like to see other videos on the same topic, please check out our YouTube site. And if you'd like me to review your website, just visit me at lumberman.com slash user experiences or shoot me an email at davidlumberman.com.